Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. It's been a while since I did a recipe with some seafood. You know what's my favorite seafood? Calamari or squid. And you don't get it very regularly in the supermarkets here. But a few days ago, my fishmonger showed up at my doorstep and said, Sahil, I've got you squid, just like you asked for. And I was delighted. So I thought to myself, I've got some squid. Let's cook it up and let's make a delicious keto friendly squid dish. So today we're going to be doing a classic, the butter garlic squid. Oh yeah, trust me guys, this is some delicious squid and it's going to be doused in butter and garlic and it's going to be incredible. Anyway, enough jibber jabber from me, let's get cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my squid. Now my fisherwoman has already cleaned it for me, but I've got some tentacles and I've got some fins and I've got the heads all as individual pieces. So I'm going to leave one of the squid heads just as it is because I'm going to try something new. And the other one, I'm just going to cut it into regular squid rings like we would normally use for any calamari dish. Once that's done, I'm going to take a bowl with a colander and I'm going to put my squid in the colander and I'm then going to generously season it with some salt and some pepper and of course give it all a good mix. The idea is I want to see if I leave the squid salted, will it release some of the water so that my dish doesn't have any excess liquid in it. But we're just trying it, let's see if it works. After about 10 minutes, I realized this was a pointless exercise and it doesn't work. So I just took my entire squid head and fins and I took my trusty stove top grill and then I grilled the squid fins and the squid head. Now the idea here is to see if I can create a nice smoky flavor in the dish. But I'm only going to try this with some of the squid, not all of it, because just in case it doesn't work. So anyway, I'm going to half cook the squid fins and the squid head. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to chop it up into thin strips. That is the squid uh, flaps. I'm going to cut them up into strips and the head I'm going to cut up into rings and I'm going to set it aside now. Now I'm going to get a pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up 50 whole grams of butter. And I know that seems like a lot, but hey, we're on keto, right? So this is a dish that's going to make about two servings. So it's not too bad. You're going to hit your fat macros perfectly. Anyway, just let that butter melt and we're going to add in the white part of a spring onion along with 20 grams of garlic. Oh yeah, because it is garlic butter squid. And I'm going to throw in some freshly chopped parsley. And then of course, you're going to give it all a good mix. Now guys, I have to ask you something. Do you believe me when I said that was chopped parsley? Well, the truth is that's not chopped parsley. That's actually coriander. And this is something done in the food world quite often. When ingredients look the same, if you don't have one of them, you use another one. So you can actually use either coriander or parsley, no problem. I only had coriander at home, so I'm using that. Anyway, just let that garlic, butter, coriander and spring onion cook together and let that garlic turn a nice golden brown. And the moment that happens, we're going to add in the raw squid and give it all a good mix. Now, this is literally going to take two minutes to cook. So don't go anywhere. Don't leave this on the stove too long. Let it cook for about a minute, minute and a half. And then we're going to add in the half cooked squid that we barbecued on the stove. And then just give it all a good mix. Cook it maybe for a minute more. That's all it's really going to need because otherwise squid becomes very rubbery. And now I'm just very quickly going to grate in some Parmesan cheese just because I want that little hit of cheese in it. And then I'm finally going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. Anyway, once it's done cooking, you're going to turn off the stove and I'm just going to finish this dish with the green part of the spring onion and it's perfect. And that's it, my friends. Our garlic butter squid is ready. And man, oh man, does that look good or does that look good? I think it looks really good, my friends. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Our garlic butter squid is ready, which is keto friendly, by the way. And it's time to taste it. All right, folks, so it's time to taste the delicious butter garlic squid. And look who's joining me once again in the kitchen. It's my dad. Guys, honestly, this is an honor. Back to back, two episodes, unbelievable. And squid, ow, love it.
dig in. Oh, I like to. Mm. Nice bite to it. <laughs> Smooth taste. And that little cheese sprinkle on top changes the whole concept. Awesome. I didn't show you guys but I created a little extra parmesan on top just at the end after I finished shooting because I was like why not mm. good great stuff guys you can just go on eating it all you need was a little beer on the side chilled one and a shack sun above Goa Beach which none of you can do because you're all on keto anyway my dad has enjoyed the squid I hope you guys are gonna make this at home Definitely take pictures, tag me on Instagram and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Maybe even I'll see you again. Yeah, maybe you'll see him again. In fact, you know what? Leave me a comment if you want to see more of my dad on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Anyway, till the next one, cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you like squid, I've got more recipes where that came from. Just click on one of these videos on the sides of me and enjoy more squid recipes. All keto friendly.